Three local restaurants are receiving national recognition. Tonight, nominations for the James Beard Awards have been announced, with some nominations going to local dining staples. In case you're wondering, the James Beard Awards are often referred to as the Oscars of the dining world. News 19's Nate Stanley is in studio tonight with a breakdown of the process and the impact of the awards. Nate? That's right, JR. Let's meet the three newest Midlands businesses nominated for the James Beard Awards. We have Lula Drake Wine Parlor, Kiki's Chicken and Waffles, and City Limits Barbecue. The businesses tell me it's a joy to be recognized, and now they wait for voting and the finalists to be announced. You know something is happening when your phone blows up, so getting texts and uh, phone calls from all over. Tim Gardner, the owner of Lula Drake Wine Parlor, describes the moments after finding out his restaurant is a semi-finalist for a 2024 James Beard Award. This year they were nominated in the Outstanding Wine and Other Beverages program category. It's just great. It's a validation for all of our hard work, really. It's not a foreign feeling for the team at Lula Drake, as it's the second time they've been nominated. Last year they made it to the final round of the awards, even taking a trip to Chicago for the presentations. And we saw a huge uh, increase in uh, travelers that normally will go to Charleston and then skip over Columbia to go to Greenville. And it's, uh, it's been wonderful to see people come in to our city. He explains after the nominations are announced, they have a stressful, months-long process before finalists are announced on April 3rd. Nominations for semi-finalists can be submitted by anyone, and winners receive a medallion and a certificate. Those winners are announced during a ceremony in early June. It's a process that's exciting for Kiki Cyrus, the owner of Kiki's Chicken and Waffles. This is the first time her business has been named as a semi-finalist for a James Beard Award. I know with being a soul food restaurant, being a black owned a restaurant owner, um, you know, being in business for almost 12 years, that, that, that alone is, you know, um, a good recognition. The awards also cast a light on the city as a whole, according to Charlene Slaughter at Experience Columbia. It helps us in terms of, you know, tourism, tourism marketers to, you know, talk about Columbia as a, a, a tourism destination. You know, it gives us, you know, credibility. And the awards are scheduled to be presented on June 10th, 2024. Reporting in studio, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Nate, thank you. The Sumter Shag Group meeting 